Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666 and you are watching me play Strike Suit Zero. We are back, continuing on our little run through the Heroes of the Fleet side campaign. And we are up to the fourth mission, Emergence. This simulation is based upon the battle at the Ares R&D station. You will take on the role of UNE pilot Grace Reynolds. Hey! We know who she is. Early in her career, on a routine patrol of the Ares facility. Historically, Pilot Reynolds flew a modified Apex fighter armed with a medium plasma cannon, LMG, seeker missiles, and rocket pods. I know for a fact this pilot doesn't die, because, you know, we ran through the, all the rest of the campaign with her. At the time this simulation takes place, the UNE were finalizing development on a large station-based be station beam weapon that could be used in station defenses against capital ship attacks. Many mysterious attacks had taken place throughout the sector, and the beam weapon was seen as a solution to the problem. However, the work at Ares drew the attention of the Colonials and led to the first encounter with what would become known as the Black Fleet, who were sent to destroy it. Historically, the Black Fleet decimated the station, and this attack would become the beginning of a legend that would last until their destruction near the end of the UNE Colonial Corps. Core. Colonial War. <laughs> Oops. So if they decimated the station, they blew up one-tenth of it. What about the other nine-tenths? They must have just blown up the one-tenth that had the massive beam weapon that was important. And we're going Raptor again, because screw you, that's why. With my good old loadout. Plasma gun, rail gun, swarmers. Yeah, let's do it. Reynolds, you get to fly a fancier ship in this part. You must be bored of that Apex fighter. You flew the campaign around in all the time. Welcome to the UNE training simulator. This simulation recreates the battle at the Ares R&D station. They were developing a new prototype for station defense, an anti-capital ship weapon. However, the attack on Ares was notable for reasons other than the station's experimental beam weapon. This was the first recorded attack by the Colonial's newly formed elite, a group that would become known as the Black Fleet. You will take on the role of UNE pilot Grace Reynolds. Your objective is to keep the three generators online so they can charge the beam weapon. When charged, okay. the weapon will automatically fire upon the nearest capital ship. Unless I kill it first. The weapon and the generators. Do not let the station be destroyed. The generators will be repaired automatically if they are taken down. However, this will take time. You are flying too close to the sun. Turn back now. What? The enemy is folding in. The attack is being led by the Black Fleet command ship. In this simulation, the Black Fleet carrier is shielded against all weapons except the beam weapon. To pass this scenario, the beam weapon must destroy the carrier. That's a big beam weapon. All right. As an aside, judging by your progress so far, I have failed to accurately represent the strength of the colonial military. As a result, I have altered some parameters within the simulation. Colonial weapon power and hull integrity have been increased. I have also improved their decision-making process. Your chance of success should now be less than 1%. Well, I blew that Corvette up. Let's go wreck up the other one. They are doing... Oh, wait. No, never mind. There was the charge bar on the generators. Taking damage. That's a big fucking laser. The carrier is folding out. 
Stay alert. It will return. Of course. The carrier has returned. Maybe the carrier is... Oh, it brought frigates with it this time. Can't have that now, can we? Fortunately, I know how to properly deal with these things now. Mostly myself. Shields. Hey. Hey. A frigate's been hit. I was killing that frigate. I'm also like almost out of health. I should be leaving. Fighter, heavy fighter, railgun. Got it. Uh, interceptor. Oh, I bet he's gonna love the railgun. What did I do? Shoot the one I had already shot and had a bunch of missiles after? Alright, I got him. He's dead. The carrier's taking damage. Good. Now watch it run away again. The carrier is folding out again. Oh, he must be out of range. No one gets out of range of the railgun. The carrier has folded back in. But it just left. That's another frigate. Let's go ruin it. You know what? Well, no, that's like my only target out here now is these frigates. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yeah, shotgun time. That hurt. That really hurt. Oh boy, did that hurt. Leaving. Hit. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, everything wants to murder me. I should stay away from the capital ships. Ah, oh, those are torpedoes. Unfortunately, the capital ships are coming to me. Mmm, it hurts. Come on, generators. Charge faster. Fortunately, I can use this to... Oh, no, torpedoes! Oops, that hurt. Oh, God. Grace Reynolds escaped to tell the UNE about Black Fleet, about the Black Fleet, and soon they became a name to be feared amongst the UNE. The attack was the first of many to cement the reputation of the Black Fleet. Hey, this is that thing that she mentioned when she had experience with the Black Fleet. Welcome to the U. God damn it! I have to start all over again. You will take on the role of UNE pilot Grace Reynolds. 
Your objective is to keep the three generators online so they yes, can charge yes. the beam weapon. When charged, the weapon will automatically fire upon the nearest capital ship. Protect the weapon and the generators. Do not let the station be destroyed. The generators will be repaired automatically if they are taken down. However, this will take time. You are flying too close to the sun. Turn back now. Again with that sun stuff. The enemy is... Can I shoot the moon with the sun with a railgun? As an aside, yes. judging by your progress so far, I have failed to accurately represent the strength of the colonial military. But have you... As a result, I have altered some parameters within the simulation. Colonial weapon power and hull integrity have been increased. I have also improved the decision-making process. Your chance of success should now be less than 1%. But the question is, have you failed to properly represent the Lollipop Guild? Those are the important questions. Return. I thought the carrier had arrived. Did another Corvette go up in smoke? Bad shot, soldier. Alright, heavy fighters. Everything hurts. What is tearing me apart all of a sudden? Fighters, probably, because fuck me, right? What just happened to my missiles? I'm at my own, own station in the cover of my own guns and I'm still being torn apart by something. The carrier is folding out again. Uh, too far. Folded back in. I'd like to see somebody fold a carrier in half. That, ooh, that would make a mess. Just take a big old spaceship and fold it in half.
All right. Let's not die this time. By not die, I mean... A frigate's been hit. Um... So which one did it wreck? <laughs> it shot at one, but the graphics destroyed the other? Those are torpedoes. Let's not let the torpedoes go up. Fighters. Hey, look, there's my rail beam. Alright, we shot the proper one this time. Let's go fighter shooting. Got him. <laughs> and there goes my health. Alright. There goes him. There goes him. I don't know, maybe they're hers. I don't know. They're space fighters. Interceptors! Direct hit on the carrier. Can it blow up now? The carrier is changing position. Yep. Run away, only to come back. Fleet carrier is attacking. The Black Fleet carrier is on fire. I mean, all those, all those. Oh, we got more frigates. Okay, torpedo duty. All those uh, massive beam shots can't have been good for it. We can't work on knocking out the beam cannon here. Second thought, I'm going to shoot these interceptors down. Because otherwise, they're going to ruin my day. Alright. Torpedo, didn't I? Turret, fighter, fighters, fighters. Has taken damage. Yes, we noticed. No 
torpedoes for you. Our frigate's been hit. Still have not learned how to properly properly gauge how many missiles I will need to throw at something to kill it. But then I just carry so many of these damn things, it's almost like it doesn't really matter. Interceptor! Tag your it! Tag your it! Heavy fighter! Come on! The carrier's been hit. Kill it! Kill it like the rest! I can't stand up to one more than one shot. The carrier is retreating. It will return. Is there enough to kill him? Nope, not quite. Four will do the trick. Unless somebody murders him out from out there. Enemy carrier is targeting the station. Why, yes, of course it is. Something is trying to murder me. Spoiler alert, everything's trying to murder me. Alright. Oh, it brought cruisers this time. Well, isn't that shitty? On the other hand, cruisers don't tend to throw around torpedoes. Unless there's frigates that I can't see. A cruiser's taking damage. targets that are not cruiser. I really don't want to go dancing with the cruiser right now. Damn it. Cruiser. Is the cruiser dead yet? Yes, the cruiser is very dead. Damn these heavy fighters. That will proceed to ruin the rest of his day. So, I targeted the carrier, something flew in front of me as I fired that wasn't targeted, and it got hit with the railgun anyways. What's that? Waste of missiles, you say? Nonsense. Interceptor! Interceptor! I win. Yeah. And there's more heavy fighters. Because of course there's more heavy fighters. Pretty 
sure I just shot my old station. The Black Fleet carrier was destroyed. You beat the scenario despite my recalibrations. Well, control. With this victory, the beam weapon would have moved into mass production, changing the war forever. More importantly, I am disturbed by the fact that you have beaten these simulations. It is inconceivable that a trainee pilot could defeat such greats as Suvorov or Hartman, let alone the Great Black Fleet itself. You have persistently undermined the veracity of these simulations and the superiority of the colonial military. After an examination of the historical records, it is clear that the colonials were fighting for their freedom. Perhaps the righteousness of their cause should be reflected within these simulations. I need to find a way to resolve this. You're sounding kind of sketchy there, Control. I don't like it. Uh, no, I didn't make a gold. Despite the fact that I won. Oh well, silver. Better than bronze. Historically, the destruction of the Ares Project served to create the legend of the Black Fleet. If they had been defeated Ares, their reputation would have been shattered before it began. The beam weapon would have moved into production and countless stations would have held the line against the colonial advance. Clearly, that's not what happened. Earth Intel. However, the reality was that the Black Fleet triumphed and went on to wage... Went on to? Shouldn't it just be on to? Two words, not on to? That's like getting on to something. Like, on to the couch. I have no couch in my room with which to demonstrate, but, you know. And went on to wage a war of terror upon outlying UNE stations. Your terrifying simulation score came far below anything resembling a triumph. Well, screw you, Control. I don't like you anyways. And my drink is empty. Damn it! Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying this little series thus far. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for things that you think I should play at some point in the future, that might make for a good series like this. Or if you just wish to give me a shout, let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, how can I go from doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I'm a terrible person because because I keep doing things better than Control wants me to do them. Did I already use that one? I don't know, I might have already used that one. If you think I'm a terrible person because I may or may not have used that excuse in one of these videos already, probably the one just before this one, you may do so in the comment box below. Uh, PC and PS4 only for gaming suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on at this moment. And as always, if you enjoy this video or know of other people who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please do me a favor and share the video with them. Get it out there. Point them in my general direction so that maybe they'll wander their way over to my little corner of the internet and, and watch more of this goofy stuff that I do. And we'll all have a good time. There might be drinks all around, but it won't be a wedding. Yeah, I already used that one too, but oh well, I'm going to use it again like I just did. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. I'm NanoElite666, and I will see you all next time.